and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have one of the Cyber Week launches from Tonic and this one is called Treasure Dreams and as you can see it's a beautiful memory book die set a huge one, it's got 54 different dies in it if you haven't been here before you're very very welcome and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell you can share if you like if you do enjoy it don't forget to give me a little thumbs up at the end and please leave me a little comment and let me know how you find it, if you liked it or whatever. Thank you very much. Now we'll have a little look at this die set and then I'll go ahead and start making something because that's the bit that you prefer I'm sure. It's a large memory book and this one, the largest round die here, it's got a sort of a hinged side on it. It's 16 and a half centimetres from this point to this point and from top to bottom it is just over 17, almost 17 and a half centimetres for the largest one and this one doesn't have a cutting edge so that means that you can extend this piece to whatever size you want. You can do the same with these two as well as this one so there are three different ones that you can attach onto a spine if you like to do that or to add in these decorative holes at the edge that you can put uh, ribbon or lace or whatever through to bind the book up uh, or even little rings. Now I'm going to use a, a die set along with this today for my first book anyway. I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do for the second one but for the first one I have brought in this die set and it's called the Keepsake Bookmaker Simple Spines die set because I wanted to add a little spine onto the side of that and I've gone ahead and cut that but I'll come back and show you how to do that at a later stage. You don't actually need the spine set with it because you can use these and create holes down the side here. These will fit the long one and then there are little notches to show you where to fit them onto the two smaller ones as well. This is the tickets and trinkets die set and stamp set that matches it and I'll be using this to add some little mementos and little bit, bits and pieces into my finished memory book because these are just absolutely perfect for adding all those little extra pieces in that make the book so special and I can see here there's some beautiful little pieces that can be folded over and they just look so cute and I'm going to add them into the book at the end so hang around to the end and you'll see where I use that as well but this is a really lovely little set and uh, that one made me laugh there when I saw it the Ruth D band but whatever way I looked at it it looked like the Ruth and D band and well you know me and my husband that's hilarious to me anyway <laughs> I've moved all of these dies out onto my big magnetic stand I actually just have it flat so that you can see it here but that's a great way to keep them because they're all in one place at the time and you won't lose them because obviously they just stick to that and you're not going to have them dropping off all over the place and it's called uh, treasure dreams so this is the sentiment that's down at the bottom here it's got uh, words on it and then a backing plate as well and that's what I'm going to use for the front of my little album today. I always like to have a look through these first of all to see if there's anything that I can use for other things as well as a, a memory book and I'm sure you're the same and then you can leave a little note on the front of it that these are inside and you can use them for lots and lots of other projects as well. That small layering circle set and the oval one just really grabbed me right away because I know I use that lots and lots. But there are other little things as well, other embellishments. Now, there are lots of decorative dies in here. These ones have stitched edging and those are for the front covers or the pages inside or whatever. You can cut out, in fact I have one here, and you can see the decorative detail around the outside of it. It's really, really beautiful. And then there are, there are little pieces here with wording on it and those are so, so beautiful because the debossed wording looks really, really beautiful if you use it on mirror card or satin card or whatever. In fact, I have it here. That might be just a little bit too bright for you there, but isn't that just beautiful? So there, there are a few of those and I have actually gone ahead and already die cut some of these little embellishments out. And as you can see, I wanted this to be nice and bright today, so I've picked lots and lots of red card and gold and different shades of white and things and I'll leave a list of all those down below. You may already have them. If not and you want to know the names, I will put those all in the description down below. This one then makes a little book that you can fit inside or a little flap over album that you can put inside your bigger book 
you can actually use it on, on its own if you want but this is what it will look like whenever it's cut out and you can attach it into the spine by this side and you can sort of hinge it so that it opens, opens and closes from the top and add other pages to that and I'll show you how to do that whenever we get further on in the actual assembling of the stuff. Then these are the dies that match that as well and this then is the part that I thought looked rather strange but it actually is really lovely at the end. This one, oh I'll just show you the pieces that I've already cut out. I've gone ahead and glued one part up and then this is what this will turn out like. You want to fold all those little score lines up and it makes a mechanism that fits into the centre of two pages and as the pages open up this pops up and then that's where these little pieces come into play because you can add little photos and different things onto these little sections here but that will all become clear as I start to make this. That's a gorgeous little thing there. This one and this one I thought were just so pretty and those would be able to be used for other things as well. Anyway, I've talked enough about the die set. I'm going to show you how to make it now and hope you enjoy it. I've decided to go with the middle sized book so that's not the large one with the on the outside of the die set but the centre one with this piece on here. And I worked out how I was going to use the spine first of all. I wanted to know what size that was so I've die cut that. This is my prototype here. It comes out flat like this and it, it's obviously the length of this. And then you see where these little notches are? You can just see little guidelines here, little guide marks more. And those are the pieces that get glued together. So you'll see those on there. And you fold it so that those are mountain folds. And then you'll put glue in there. But obviously that's just my prototype, that blue one. I have then worked out that this is um, four centimetres I'm going to need whenever this is glued together. This is my white one. And I just put glue in here and then that will make the spine. But whenever that's all together, that measures four centimetres wide. So to cover that, I have left four centimetres from this notch out to the edge of the card there. And when I cut that off, I'm going to leave that straight on the front and back covers. Actually cut that spine to seven and a half centimeters long because that's exactly what I need to fit inside here and now that's it all glued together and it measures four centimeters as I said across here now I have used 300 GSM card for the to make the covers sturdy but I've actually just used the craft perfect texture weave that's the classic card to make this little bit and this doesn't matter just so much but I'll be gluing it in here then I want to overlap these two pieces so I scored them right down from the notches one to the other there on the back and front and I want to glue these together so that the front of the book will be here and the fold will be there and the little join will be at the back. So I'm going to put glue in here and then I'm going to glue this on top of here. That's the inside, the, the front cover, the back cover and the inside all in place there and I've added a little piece of the lovely striped paper onto the back there and this to cover the spine and that is three and a half centimetres by seven. Then I've taken the same paper, same card actually, and I've die cut two pieces, one for the back and one for the front covers. So this is the one that I used for the outside, the, the actual cover. And then this one, which just fits snugly in there, is for here and the back. And I'm just going to put that on the back with nothing else on it there, just, just to cover it. But on the front then, I've gone ahead with the next two dies in the set. So this one actually doesn't have an outside cutting edge, but I cut that in the red glitter card. And just trimmed it off right down from notch to notch there. And then I cut this one out in this beautiful textured paper here and I've glued both of those together and then I've taken one of the little keys now the keys come in a set of two where you they're folded over and I've just rounded the top of that 
and there's a lovely little heart that has come out of it as well. Well, if you can see that, it's quite small, but it's beautiful, and I'll, I'll hold on to that. And those are glued together, and a little bit of this chili red twine around the key, and then on the back here, I've tucked the twine. I've actually glued it as well, just to make sure it's very secure, and then put 3D foam pads over the top, and I'm going to. My samples always get sent away, and I always like to make sure they're extra secure, so I'll add a little bit of that glue on as well. But this is my little panel then for going on here, and I want to decorate that up. So the 3D foam pads just give that a little bit of dimension. Let's make sure that's straight. There we are. And then I've got this little sentiment that I die cut earlier, and I showed you. Uh, a trove of treasured dreams and that's white but it's got red glitter card on it and I'm going to glue that on top and that will just go there you need to actually just put a wee drop of pressure a wee bit of pressure on that just to hold it down because the paper's textured and you want to make sure it grabs really really well then I've got this little heart so that's the one that came out of the centre of the key and I'm just going to pop that back in and I'll put it there at an angle. And then I'll go ahead and I'll glue this to the front and the plain one onto the back. a little touch more of gold would be really nice on that although there's quite a lot going on on it already because of the foiling there and the glitter and whatnot but you know it's just nice to have a little extra touch of gold so I cut this little th um, I don't know what it is but it kind of reminds me of a reminds me of a little crown so I wanted to show you how I'm going to put one here as well and I just wanted to show you how I get the embossing in here to stand out just a little firmer so keep the die cut inside the die and take your smallest embossing tool and you'll just be able to feel around in there with the embossing tool and see just push down hard in there and around there in the center and then whenever you take that off that will be beautifully embossed you can see the raised up detail on it then and just go ahead and glue that in so we'll add some glue and pop that one in the center there side front cover I took the same die that I used for the for the actual front cover itself and trimmed it off right down here at that little notch again in this beautiful paper and glued it on there so that's textured paper and you need to make sure the glue is right out to the edges and there are no little bumps with no glue in it so just take your time and press that down really firmly and leave it to to grab properly before you move on then I've taken some Welsh glitter card with the, the same die again and I've cut that off at 6 centimetres from here to here. I'll actually just show you how I did that in my guillotine here. So you set the whole circle in but you can line this part here up so you know it's going to be straight. Line it up with the 6.5 centimetre mark and then cut off and you'll get that perfectly straight. Then I've Added, I'm going to add a little trim of this paper here on top so I'm going to glue that on and then I will just round that with the scissors and go ahead then and glue this by this edge and leave this one open so that that forms a lovely little pocket in there but you've also got this down here. page then I've taken the same die again that I used for the front cover. I've cut it out twice in 300 GSM card and I've trimmed both of them to slightly just in beside the little notch just on the inside of it there. So what I want to do now is glue these two together. So I'm going to put glue right around all of here. 
glue the two together and then I'll put glue on this little part on both sides and slip this over and hold them together and that will form a page with both sides on it. opposite that then I've taken some chilli red and I've used exactly the same dye again and I have trimmed it off just inside that notch. I'm going to glue that on there and then I've taken the smallest dye that has no cutting edge, that's this one. And I've got some card here already cut out and trimmed off. So I have taken some beautiful ice rink card and I've left some attached to the side of it there where I could fold it over and then I've cut the next one because it's not double sided. I've cut another one exactly the same but I've trimmed it off just inside the notch and I'm going to glue that together. But I'm leaving this little piece on here because I want to glue this piece of satin card over the top of that and that will make a little booklet but this will be the little opening part which is why I've left it hinged and I'm going to glue that then directly onto here. So the satin part will be glued down but it will cover this little hinge part and this piece will cover the inside of that and then I'll decorate the front of that. a little tag die on here that was an oval one and then I put this on top I put my lovely little crown as I call it on top here in red glitter card and then layered these two dies up here so this one is in red glitter and this one is in gold card behind it and then I put a tiny little heart which was the fallout from one of those other pieces and um, just into the center there at the top and that's that one and then I've covered the back of that in chili red card and I've taken one of my other, the dies from the set again, that was this one, and I just cut that in half and then I've put a little trim across it as well here so we've got a little sort of a reinforcement across the top of the pocket and then I've put memories on there and you can see I've gone ahead and put a page in exactly the same way for here but I've left the centre one. So it's the centre one that I'm going to do now and I just want to show you what I have used here. So I've gone for different dies this time and it's the one that looked a little bit odd. It, it actually has two pieces to the side of it. So we've got a top and a side piece. Now I have gone ahead and cut that out several times. I've all my little bits and pieces cut out and sitting ready here. So hopefully I'll get them all in the right order. Now I've used this beautiful foiled striped card again. And it's not double sided as I've said before so I've cut it out in two pieces and I want to join those together. But what I'm going to do first of all is this will be the piece that holds everything together that's going to attach this little booklet into the centre of the, of the actual book itself. So I'm going to go ahead and glue across here and down in here together and then I'll glue this piece over the top of that and join that up like so and that will be the back of the little book and it'll be a little flip album to go on there but I don't want to join this onto here until I have all the rest of that decorated up first and the top parts need to be threaded through here so it's much easier to do that before you add it in however I don't want to get those mixed up so I'm going to just glue that part together for the moment Now you can see I have die cut the little holes in that again. So I've used this little hole die and I have just taped that on and you can see where the notch shows you where these should go and you line those up putting the bottom of the bar right across where the, the circle meets the sort of rectangular bit and the little notches at the side of that and die cut 
and then I've, I've flipped it over and done it the other way around so that I get the back to match the front. Now that's that's my back part of that. So there's another little piece that has to go on. We're going to add s several little layers onto this and I've used this again then for the other pages. This is the front one which is exactly the same as this except that I have cut this off right down here because I don't need that on this because this part is going to lift up and it obviously then cannot be attached to the card if it's going to do that. And I should have folded that back. There we are. Right, so that's my front page and I've done exactly the same thing then. I've cut it out and I have trimmed it off here and I've die cut the holes in it right up at the top where they all line up. I've added this beautiful little layered embellishment on here and then I have layered another two on here and I'm going to glue those just above that. I'm really loving the way all this gold and red is coming together. It's really, really bright and sparkly and I like that. So that's my front page and my back page ready and I've made another little one for the centre but before I did that I've actually covered this one in the uh, patterned paper again, this textured paper and I've used this larger, the outside one of these two dies to do that. I've also taken this same die that I used before that cut out the piece with the two ends on it. I've cut that gold vellum out in that. Here it is. I've cut the gold vellum out in that and then I've trimmed this off again and I've made the little holes up at the top. Now I've taken these two dies. You can see one of them has two a lovely little striped part around it and then the other one has a dotted edge. You'll not need that dotted edge. It actually cuts out a little layer which you can hold on to. Use for something else. But I've taped both of those together and I've cut this out twice in chili red because I wanted it to add act as a little stabiliser and a little frame for the vellum. The vellum's quite floppy on its own and that just helps it and it makes a lovely little frame as well. So I've glued one on one side and exactly on top on the other side and you can see I've done exactly the same thing with the little us embellishment because if I had glued that on that side whenever you lift it up you'd have seen the glue through there so it says us here and us there and that's in exactly the same place and that's just a kind of a little fancy page divider and that is going to go in there and this one is going to go on top and then I'm just going to thread these together with um, some twine and then I will put that over the top and that will be my next little page in. So there's that. After I finished putting the twine on the top there, then I added some of these little elements and it just looks really nice as that flip up element in there. So the next page then is self, fairly self-explanatory. I've put the, you can see it there, the lovely textured paper in at the back and a strip of the candy cane down here and then these two pieces up at the top and we'll be able to slip something in behind there. The next one so far is just a flat mat for putting a photograph on and then this one is the same as the inside front. So that's all of the pages done. Then I've gone ahead and made a few little tags to put inside. So I've used the, just the plain little die with the stitched edging on it to do this one. And you can just pop these in anywhere but they're in, in here. Now that's the little piece I showed you before with the hearts on and it, it doubles over and you can put one side on the front and one side at the back and then you can see there I actually nipped off part of it because I was using it for something else and put this little tag with that heart on there and you can put your photo back front right on whatever you want and pop that in there. Then I have this little one to, to put in here so it's just a glitter circle with the little heart again and this time the back is intact on that one and that one flips in there. Then I have this one with a little paper clip 
So that's one of the little dies as well, and that one will go in there. And the flat edge obviously will be going into the centre each time. And then I have this one, which is just a circle. It's one of the, the bigger layering circle dies from that set as well. And it's in plain white with this, and that will pop in there. That lovely little memories on there looks good too. I can't actually remember whether I said this or not, but I put these three little crowns onto the front. I was going to leave it, but I thought it actually looked as if it needed a little bit more gold on it. don't know if you agree or not, but anyhow. Now, what I want to do is show you quickly through this little die set. There's a die and stamp set that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And I just want to show you what you can do with that. I have cut lots and lots of pieces out, and I have stamped lots of pieces as well. So I stamped some and then die cut them and the little tickets, you can just fold that over and these make lovely little extra pieces to put into your album, your memory book, just in there or just wherever. And you can see there the Ruth and Dee band that will go in there. That does make me laugh because it's so unlike us, but there you are. Um, and all these little pieces, some more tickets. There's some absolutely beautiful shaped dies on that, so I'm going to give you a little look through those. Now, where, where can we bring it down to? Down to about there. This long one is actually part of something that you could stamp this ticket onto the whole way along it and then die cut it. But I have die cut it here in that beautiful gold. Um, that's this one and trimmed it at the top. I have used, uh, let me see, this one this little die as well. Cut that out in red satin card and you see on the book where I have put this little strip of card down here on this plain panel here I'm going to add that just with glue at the top and bottom and then that will be my little uh, area that I can put um, a little tag in behind. So you only want to put glue in there just a fine line of it and then just make sure that's straight uh, about there and pop it on. Just hold that for a minute or two and there's plenty of room in behind then to put a photograph or a little memory or whatever in there. So I have taken this one to do that with. I am going to add something onto the front of it here, possibly that because that's really beautiful too. That's this one and then I'll show you these others as well. There's a beautiful little heart and I have cut out this um, heart in gold and this one in red and layered them up and then this one is from here and then a lovely little circle tag from here and then a couple of ones which don't necessarily fit onto circles but you fold them back and they make lovely little corners just for putting on well I'll show you what it looks like on here it's not necessarily for this but a little corner piece and then you could maybe put uh, two or three of those and add something in behind it you know you could put a photograph or whatever and use that as the little corners to hold it and there's a bigger one as well that's beautiful really really lovely you can cut the, these out in gold or just whatever size shape you want you, there's a die there to suit it but I really particularly love this one that you could add in there and we can go ahead and add some of these tags on here and that will be lots of lovely things inside there to be able to show you how to use this die and the little mechanism that you can make that shows the little pop-up photograph part but it doesn't actually fit inside this little book that I've got here it does fit inside the bigger one and I haven't made a bigger one but I wanted to see if I could do something totally different with it and I really hope this works <laughs> so I have taken a 7x7 seven seven white card blank and then this is the biggest die in the set that you can use for the outside, the one with no cutting edge here. Now I haven't decorated the front of this yet. I want to do the inside first to make sure that works. So a 7x7 seven seven card as I've said and I've taken some chilli red card and I have cut that to just slightly smaller than 7x7. Seven seven. I don't want it covering the fold because that means it's far too difficult to actually close the card after that. So I have just trimmed it slightly smaller than 7x7 seven seven and matted those on. And then I've taken this big die and I've cut it out in ice rink card. 
and I have layered these on as well, just glued them on with a fine line of glue around the outside and if you put them too closely together the card won't close either so you need them close enough to the join that there's not much gap between them but not right tight or it won't actually close properly. So I have done that and hopefully this will work. So I've taken this die and there are little instructions in the booklet or the packaging of the die set anyway that show you how to work this and you should be able to work it out from it but follow along with this and hopefully that will go. So you need to cut out two of these, two of these and two of these and I have cut them all out in chilli red and I have one partially assembled here and that will go on there but I just wanted to show you how they go ahead and uh, how they're made up. So you can see here all these little debossed score lines and you just want to fold them all in this direction, fold them all in towards the centre like so on every one and just burnish those and make sure they're, they're properly folded. Then on these two tabs here, so we've got this long piece and you want to glue on these two tabs and fold those in. Now don't rush this, just make sure you get, get these in the right position. So hopefully you can see there where I have folded that in and and it makes this little shape here. So it's level, the top of that where you're bringing it in is directly level at the end there and just leave that for a moment or two until the glue, glue grabs. That's easy enough to do but you just don't want to rush it. And then on the other one here. Fold over and just tuck it in there and make sure that that's perfectly level across the top. I suppose I could have done this in stronger card but I actually thought that it was easier bent and manipulated into shape by using the Craft Perfect so I think it actually works quite well with this one. Now there are little long little pieces here with one two three folds on it so what you want to do is fold all those over and this tiny tab here you will fold in and glue onto the back of this just directly on there. Fold that in and hold it there. And then do the same on the other side. So then you can still leave this piece loose for the time being and take this little piece and glue it onto these tabs and I think it works easier if you just put the glue directly onto the tabs and set the piece down on top of it. Just nip, nipped off temporarily there to find my little box of pegs. So these two pieces don't get glued together as such just yet but you can see there that I have set them both very tightly together, lined them up and then put a little peg in there just to hold that and make sure everything's properly aligned and then I've got these two pieces which are folded down the centre and I'm going to glue one on here and one on here. to join these two together on these two little tabs here. So you can see a little glue tab here and a little glue tab here, here and here. We'll put glue on that one and fold that in there and fold that one in. So you can see there that the tabs are going to be glued together and both go in underneath. And that should fold over flat so that whenever the, the page or whatever you have it inside is closed, you'll know that that will fold down as well. And now all you need to do is turn that over and add glue onto these pieces. 
and glue that into the centre and just make sure that you've got the centre piece of this perfectly aligned with the centre of this and then it will open and close perfectly. glued in place then you can go ahead with the little layering dies there so there are the circle ones and the oval ones and you can go ahead and glue them on here and um, then you could add photographs or whatever you want onto that. I'm just going to put the glue on here first because I think it's better putting it on there than actually on the oval itself and there you are you can do this and then on here now when it comes to this one in the centre, if you're wanting to add one on there as well, I'm going to put it this way and then just add glue on the one side of this. So it means that whenever you, I'll just show you here, if you pop that on there and wait until the glue dries, that means that it's only attached by one side and whenever you close the little card or book or whatever you can see that that flips over nicely like that because it's not attached to the other side it can move and then comes back like this again. Now I might just add a few little decorations around here and then I'm going to go ahead and put some dies on the front and decorate die cuts on the front and decorate that all up. But don't forget that that actually is, is supposed to go inside your memory book. I just thought I would make something different because I thought this would make an absolutely fantastic Christmas card for a grandparent or whatever uh, to have some family photographs on that. Imagine how happy that would make someone just to open a card like that and find lots of lovely photos inside. So I have added some little satin red card onto the front of that. Now I should actually remind you that I have put glue on the tab in behind the gold card and the little tab there to glue it on in the first place. Um, if you were not putting another layer on top of that I would suggest using double sided tape because for some reason whenever you put glue down and then put a mirror card or a satin card or whatever on top of it it tends to pucker or leave a slight little mark that you won't actually want. Now I know you'd be going to put photographs on top of that so that may not even matter but if you're wanting to give it to someone to put photographs on um, I suggest using double sided tape. So I've used double sided tape in behind this one because that is actually my top layer. And then I've used the little crown, well I call it the crown die, this one again and I have uh, put four of these around the outside and then you can add your whatever you like on here. I'm just going to leave that like that. I think I don't actually want to overdo it too much. But I have gone ahead and decorated the front of the card and it's lovely. Really nice and sparkly and shiny. So again, just to reiterate, this is a 7x7 seven seven card blank, a Craft Perfect card blank. I have got a chili red card on here and then this striped one. And then I've taken the biggest page die here. So it's not the one that actually creates the front and the back. It's the next size in with a little stitched edging. And I've cut that out. I thought it actually looked a bit like a Christmas bauble. So I was quite happy with the shape of that, even though it's flat at the top. And then I have layered these up the gold again and this beautiful textured paper there. And then I went to the Christmas magazine issue number four of the Tonic magazine and I have taken this outline die and this one together and I've cut those both out in the gold. Again, I've only added glue in behind in places where it wouldn't be seen. So just out at the edge here and right in behind where this snowflake would go. And then I've used the small snowflake again from the magazine, um, this one, and I've cut it out in the satin card, put it on the front and I've used some of the polka dot red ribbon, the Craft Perfect ribbon and made a lovely bow up at the top there. And I think that's a really, really lovely card. I'm, I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out. And as you know, I always like to have my samples coordinating. So even though this is a lovely little memory book and this is a card as such, it's a kind of a memory thing as well. So I like them both uh, in the same colours just for display. It's nice. I'm happy. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope you've hung around to the end and I do think that it's always nice to give you a little uh, taste of what you can do with something else onto the, the die set. So that's why I've added this one because I know a lot of you have been saying you like the way I've been incorporating one or two different die sets onto the, the same one uh, in some of my last videos. So I've done it again with this one and also given you just a little other idea instead of a memory book. But wouldn't that actually be a lovely little package, a little card uh, with uh, family photographs or whatever on it and this little book together for someone for Christmas? Well, I'd be happy if I got it. All of my links to these products will be down below in the description of the video. They are affiliate links, so you know I will gain a little commission from that, but it won't cost you any extra. And thanks very, very much to everybody who uses those. I will have links to several things there if you want. You can see different memory book videos that I've done before. I'll add the link to, the, to those down below and you'll find a little playlist as well that says that in it. So don't forget as well, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, to do that, to hit the notification bell, to like, to share, to leave a little comment and anything else you want, just to keep in touch and just to see the videos coming along as I make them and upload them. So, whew, that was a long one. Thanks for hanging around and until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.